one for Switch Spyro 2, we have those page for the Switch. And now we're going to be taking on Shady Oasis. Which, like I said in, at the end of the last video, we will not be 100%ing this. We will not be collecting all the orbs, nor will we be getting all the gems, because we're going to need a certain ability, which we will buy in the next world in order to do that. But I should also say that this stage is home to the very last talisman in the game. After this, we will not have to look for any more talismans. Which I think is a little bit weird, but that's just how the game is set up. But this level is a lot like Scorching, which I really like it a lot. Don't let those thieves scare you. They're not anywhere near as annoying as what they were in Spyro 1. But anyway, here in Shady o Oasis, we have 400 gems, 2 orbs, and the very last talisman. As you can see there, it's shaped like a lamp. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Okay, but first we're gonna have to wait. Let me get all the gems first. There we go. See, in the original they look like berries, but on here they look like cherries. Oh, he helped me knock out an enemy. Okay, I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> and our fodder here are a peacocks. Yeah, I'm not going to be overly disappointed or upset or anything if I miss something because, like I said, we're not going to 100% the stage no matter how you look at it. Because we will not be getting all the orbs nor will we be getting all the gems. Okay, we're actually going to wait. Are we going to wait for that to later? Actually, no. We can actually get all that now. Might as well. But yeah, I just love this Arabian setting that this place is in. I just... It looks good in the original. It looks good in the Reignited Trilogy. I just love this stage. Of course, we gotta watch out for the screen lava here. I'm, I am calling it lava because it is, it is the, if you look close, well, actually no, it's a reflection, no. I'm just gonna call it ooze. Okay, let's just go here. I hear somebody. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we can get here. Like I said, if I miss something, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, but... Oh, I thought I was gonna make that. Oh! Shoot. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, there's another peacock. Don't mind if I do. Okay, in order to get this berry bush right here, all we gotta do is just glide over to it and flame it. 
And this hope, this hippo here will eat the berry. Oh! I see you. Okay, that time the hippo didn't help me, but that's okay. Not sure if we can get over there just yet, or what should I say? I'm not sure if I want to go over there just yet. Okay. There we go. Those are kind of weird enemies. Okay, we just gotta climb up here. Just gotta go up here. Okay, let's flame you. That way you can get in. Okay. Can you actually knock this guy out? No, you can't. Kinda hoping you could've. I'm still surprised he knocked out that one enemy at the beginning. That, that very much surprised me. I don't think I've seen that happen before, to be honest. I don't know why I'm being so thorough, but... The way I look at it, the more I get now, the less I have to get later. I see you. And like with most other projectile enemies, it's probably best just to let them shoot before you try to attack them. That way they'll be more vulnerable. And we just gotta go through here. Didn't realize how many peacocks were in this stage. Oh, I don't know what you were doing to that poor hippo there, thief, but... That was kind of weird. Hey there, Dave! <laughs> Look at the- oh my god, that's funny! <laughs> okay, come at me. Yeah, th those genies should not be that much of an issue as long as- Like I said, as long as you let them attack first and just avoid the projectile attack. Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh no! Fudge. I was just gonna say we gotta be careful here, and yeah, I ended up bungling that big time. I want to get some peacocks. Yeah, be a lot more careful than what I was there. Yeah, I don't know why I made a meal out of that. Okay. Um. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You can go. Okay, I'm not sure why we need that block, but... Actually, I do. I need the rock so I can get that get that tree up ahead because there's really nothing you can do in order to get this particular tree here. Whoa! Okay. Let me get the treasure here, and then I'm gonna go to get that green rock. That way, I can shoot it at the bush. Because, like I said here, uh, just a few seconds ago, there's really no way you can get up there, and there's no way you can, like, flame or anything like that, the bush, by 
conventional conventional means. And just to prove a point, hitting the bush with one of those lava rocks should work. Oh, so that is lava then. So it's green lava. Oh, okay. I do see it's steam now. Because usually lava steams. There we go. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. That's pretty cool of you. Oh, I almost went in there. Okay, we get another one of these vases here. But first, I want to find out what you want. Spiral, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Catch the Wily Thieves. Oh, I forgot about this. I completely forgot that there were thieves in this uh, level. I think one we can actually end. Okay, there's one right here. Okay, where did he go? Okay. Okay, the vase is right here. Oh, shoot. Nice. Okay, there's one out of three. Okay, and as soon as we get this orb, we should be done with this level for now. Oh. Come on. Spyro, where's your aim at? Okay, that rocket burst open that particular um, chest. Whereas for this one, we're gonna need a special ability for that one. And speaking of the special ability, we're gonna need it also to do this other orb, which... Spyro, my brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us. And that is the special move that, move that we're going to need to learn, especially in the next world. Is we are going to have to learn how to head bash. So until then, his brothers are pretty much SOL right now. Oh, I see. Let me see what kind of path they're taking first. Nice! Got you. And look, they just only moved it like a few feet. Are you kidding me with that? <laughs> and you can probably tell that's all the way back to the very beginning. Okay, this was the from the chest that we blew up not all that long ago. Okay, now we just gotta progress through the level until we're able to get in... 
find the third and final thief. And then after that, we should be done. And the other thief should be... Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. The final thief should be somewhere along here. I think he's somewhere in these corridors right here. Could be totally wrong. Nope, I'm right. Where'd he go? Oh, I see. Find out what kind of path he's taking. Nice! lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Hey, I'm okay with that. Okay, we're up to 37 orbs now. Let me just skim through here real quick to see if there's any other gems we can get before I leave. the guidebook real quick. Okay, 360 out of 400. You know what? I'm okay with exiting the stage here. But yeah, that lamp talisman is the final talisman that we're going to collect in this game, which means we have a total of 14 talismans that Allura mentioned at the beginning of the game. And with that, we should be able to take on the boss here, which is Gulp. Sorry for being quiet there, but I was just trying to collect my thoughts. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Gulp. Are you ready? Well, unfortunately, Gulp's gonna have to wait until the next video, which, like with the, I did with, um, Crush, Gulp will get his own video before I start the next world, but, um... But yeah, Shady Oasis, I really like that stage a lot, and as you could tell... Not only was I not able to get all the orbs, but I was not able to get all the, uh, the gems either, which, as the one Hi Hippo revealed, we are going to have to learn the head bash, which, not in the next video, but the video after we will learn the head bash ability, but, yeah, that was a pretty fun stage, and this is not, I mean, this video isn't as long as most of the other levels, uh, videos in this series, but, at the same time, though, the next video shouldn't be that long either, because like I said, it's just going to be my fight with Gulp, and depending how many tries it takes for me to defeat Gulp, it really shouldn't take all that long at all. I'm going to say between 5 to 10 minutes. Maybe it will be 15, but I'll try not to make it too long. But yeah, next video we're going to be fighting Gulp. You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Gulp. Well, that's cool. As you can see there, Zoe saved my progress. But next time I see you guys, we will be heading down to Gulp's Overlook. So, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.